I designed this so you can hook up wagons or trailers or uh, uh, feed bunks, whatever, a, a heavy implement, you can put a ring on the pole and back into it and the rings go on and off so you're back to the conventional hitch in no time at all. I'll show you how that works. So I can I design the, the hitch so I can pick up stacks or bales with it on the back and actually I have a, uh, the newer version has a blade on it and I have a, a bale fork that I can put on the front or the back of the tractor and as I go on I'll show you how I can take the front fork off of this tractor as well. Uh, now I'll go down and show you how I put the ring on the, the pole uh, so I can uh, hook wagons up without getting off or unhook them. Um, I unhook them by pulling a rope. No hydraulics involved. It's just on the three-point. And it's amazing how fast you can put the blade and the, the bale fork on or hook up wagons. This is the actual ring that goes on the pole. You'll see. Okay, this is a bale wagon I use. I never get off the tractor. I use that hitch to hook it up. I can haul 14 big bales on there. I can drop it off, put on two or three bales, hook it up, and go to the next spot. And I can pull chopper wagons or, or uh, gravity boxes, anything with this hitch. Uh, I'll, this, I use a pickup on here and I have a double, double line and one on top of the other with a magnet on here to hold that down. And I can unhook it from inside the pickup. I'll show you how it works. Okay, now to get back to the conventional hitch, all you do is pull the pin and pull this off. You're back. Now I'll show you with the old, uh, the first prototype I made, I'll show you how I go over the top of the bale rings and pick them up and set them down over the bale and I'll put the fork on the back of that and hook this up and show you how easy it goes.
better version of, of the last hitch. Uh, actually, I have that fork on the front of this tractor, and I can turn around and put that on the back uh, three-point and unhook it. And then on the other side of that, you'll see the, the back blade for blading dirt. And I'll put that on, too, as well. Uh, so it's a very versatile uh, hitch, and, and it keeps you from getting on and off that tractor about thousands of times a year. Okay, and there you have the JSI last hitch. I named it the last hitch because it's the last hitch you'll probably ever need. And if you noticed I hooked that up and unhooked all those implements in less time than you, you could probably hook up one three-point. Uh, and the other advantage is I keep that tractor in the shop all winter and I, I can take the front fork off and the back fork off without ever getting off the tractor and I've got, uh, it takes up a lot less space.